I mean, I'll be honest, I'm not good at the fucking finesse of anything, really. I'm the guy you play pool with who's always just smacking the balls around. <laughs> smacking balls around. What's going on guys? Brandon with the AC. And I think my battery's pretty low, so I'm gonna try to make this shit quick. But anyway, if you're just tuning in, my name's Brando, and this is my channel called The Alpha Core. The Alpha Core is a project that I'm working on specifically designed to remodel the modern man. And there's a lot of subjects designed around that. A lot to do with motorcycles. Also Jeeps. We do some shooting at the gun range. Some fitness stuff and other cool things, so that's something you may be interested in go ahead and hit that subscribe button low range only 91 dead dinosaurs for me scrape there shit so I got like one gallon into filling this thing up and all of a sudden fucking gas is just pouring all over the tank it's because I'm not good at the finesse of working that gas nozzle I mean, I'll be honest, I'm not good at the fucking finesse of anything, really. I'm the guy you play pool with who's always just smacking the balls around. <laughs> smacking balls around. And that's because I'm too impatient about shit. Which brings me to the subject. Because I'm impatient with Harley Davidson, man. What in the fuck? It seems like there's, uh... A decent amount of people that like that new FXDR. Um, I guess I liked it better when it was called the V Rod, but that's just me. Um, I don't know what's so fucking great about it, man. Uh, for starters, how about it's over twenty-one fucking thousand dollars. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. You get rid of the Dynaline, which was the working man's bike that you could get into between like 13 and 19 grand. And you replace the Dynas with fucking soft tails. Yeah, and maybe it's a great freaking system, the monoshock and all that stuff. But what do you like to do with your Harleys, guys? You like to throw aftermarket shit on them, right? And there's just no aftermarket shit for that stuff yet. Well, this new FXDR, it's so overstyled that what could you possibly do to it, aside from paint it? I mean, could you ride cross country in it? Yeah. But your back is gonna be fucking breaking. Could you throw some apes on it? I don't know, it's got clip-on bars, man. Apparently, that little spot up here where it says FXDR, that plate comes off and you can actually bolt to the triple tree some rises and bars. But, I mean, I guess we'll have to see, man. But, 
for $21,000, I don't want to have to guess about a lot of shit. And that's just me. Yeah, if you sit on it, it's probably going to go. I mean, it's got that big ass motor in it, right? But I don't know, man. That's just me. What do you guys think? You know, I say this just by looking at it. I haven't sat on it yet. I've looked at a few reviews. And I feel like Harley Davidson is your drunk uncle that always gets a little too handsy with your girlfriend. You know what I mean? It's like, you love him, but dude, you're just trying too hard sometimes. Just stick to what the people love, man. I don't know. Who am I? I'm just some knucklehead on a dyna, right? But anyway, guys, let me know what your thoughts are. I'm heading to go get a beer. I've got some stuff coming up. I still have a shit ton of footage to edit from the Sturgis trip. Hopefully I get it edited before I start recording the next Sturgis trip. <laughs> but I'm working on an event here locally uh, for the Jeeps. It's going to be called Jeeps and Tacos. I'm trying to hook up with one of the local uh, 4x4 parts dealerships and and uh, get a taco truck to come in. Haven't figured out what uh, charity we want to support, so I want to try to raise some money and, uh, and uh, donate to a charity. Maybe it's a vet's charity, maybe it's for a children's hospital or something like that. But I want to start doing more events that are going to be geared towards that, helping people out. Bringing men together to do great things. I got in a week and a half a ride here in St. Paul uh, St. Paul Harley Davidson it's called the Mad Max run and if you're here locally you should really try to do it man it's uh I forget what charity it's in support of but it is a uh, a charity that helps vets out so I jumped on that opportunity plus everybody decks their fucking motorcycles out all Mad Max style I mean, they're wearing like the football shoulder pads with spikes in them and all kinds of crazy makeup and shit. And it's like Halloween before Halloween. I love it, man. Uh, that's going to be cool as hell. So I'm going to try to get as much footage of that as I can. I may be traveling to Jacksonville, Florida here in a couple weeks for the Navy. Got to teach some people how to shoot. So while I'm there... I'm going to try to hop on a bike and um, and get some get some footage of Florida. But anyway guys, let me know what you think of the FXDR and um, thanks for tuning in as always. I appreciate all you guys. Don't forget I do have the 250 subscriber giveaway. All you have to do is subscribe. And you can win that Surefire X300 Ultra Rail Mounted Weapon Light. Woohoo! That was a lot to say, man. But it is a pretty cool attachment for any firearm you may have. Uh, it's valued at about $280, $300, depending on what fucking website you try to buy it from. But uh, it's pretty cool. All you have to do is be a subscriber, guys. So go ahead, subscribe. Click that thumbs up if you like the video and uh, go ahead and hit that bell all right the food truck's still here daddy gets to eat <laughs>